Hey there guys, welcome back to the MyGuy YouTube channel. We're doing a lot of reviews of a lot of manufacturers lights and uh, kind of neglected to um, review our own. So I thought I'd better get started. So looking today at our, the smallest light that we do, it's the Array 2, it's a two bar LED uh, for um, 60 by 60 centimeter or two foot by two foot grow areas. And uh, yeah, just going to unbox it, show you the assembly and setup, and run through the specs. So, first of all, the packaging comes in a plain cardboard box, um, just described as LED light. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. So, you get the packing slip and welcome card with basic instructions. Get a Little accessory box, got a timer, it'll come in that. You get the cable grip, I'll show you what's this for in a minute, and a regular hanging ratchet. And next, got the two LED bars, you can see and connector bracket. Connector joins the two LED bars and keeps them apart. Stainless steel, very lightweight though. Uh, acrylic coating, just to keep it looking nice. I'll show you that in the assembly in a second. Got the LED driver. This is a 120 watt bespoke LED driver. Uh, comes with your chosen plug. In this case, it's UK and Ireland. We do EU, US, Australian, Swiss, all that type of stuff. Um, it's onboard dimming. So you've got a potentiometer here, which is, can be adjusted from 10 to 100% of output. Nice long cables. So uh, all the cables are all um, silicon, by the way, coated. So they don't kink and um, they're heat resistant and chemical resistant. The cable to the plug is three and a half feet, just over one meter long. So you can plug it in on the wall and the driver can sit comfortably on the floor. And then we've got one meter on the other side with our connector to the LED bars. We'll pop the driver over there. And then we've got our two LED bars. Out. Our LED bars there, as I said, it's 120 watts for the two, so they're about 60 watts uh, each. This is the pro version, the high efficiency version. Got a um, 168 uh, sole semiconductor, 3.5K uh, color temperature white LEDs, plus uh, 12 Osram reds. The Osram reds are not to enhance flaring, as some people believe, but they're higher uh, efficiency in terms of micromole or power output per watt than any white LEDs available really. So they're added in to the LED mix to increase the overall system efficiency. So this is a very highly efficient model. It delivers 2.37 micromoles of usable um, PPF per watt. That's up at the very high end of um, the market. A uh, very high efficiency and it means it's gonna run very cool and going to minimize your footprint, your electricity cost. And uh, because it's lots of LEDs running very cool, they're gonna last um, as long as possible. Um, and uh, yeah, so each bar has, uh, as I said, an LED board. They are potted in and glanded in IP65 rated with an acrylic spray coating to make them water resistant uh, and dust resistant and dirt resistant. So you can give them a a clean with soapy water without damaging the LEDs that give them a longer life. Um, very tough um, anodized aluminium heatsink and stainless steel end plates and center plate. And as I said, the um, silicon cables. Cables there are, um, well, this end is just over eight feet um, or uh, over two meters, two and a half meters long. So you get about just over two and a half meters 
or over about 10, 11 feet in length of cable from your driver to your lights, so plenty of cable, although you can get extensions if you need more. And uh, yeah, let's put it together. It's real simple to put together. There's grooves running along down the sides of the um, profile, and we just slot the connector bar in there on each side. Just center it uh, where the cable gland is so that it hangs straight. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's it um, assembled. Can plug it in and power it on now. So connect and screw in your cable connectors so they're full ingress protection. Um, plug in our driver and we have light. So as I said, dimmer adjustable, so you can dim down to 10% up to 100. And then we hang it, so let's knock it off for a second. We attach the, um, the little cable grip just above the um, splitter here. And uh, that won't damage the cable or anything. That's tested up to 20 kilos or about 50 pounds, 55 pounds in weight. Uh, long term test before there was any um, damage done to the cable. And it's only hanging, uh, it's, it's, it's nearly only 10% of that um, in this configuration. So very little um, pressure on the, uh, on the cable. So we've got our cable grip on, just attach it onto the hanging ratchet. Uh, loop our cable up over. Normally that would be going over, obviously, uh, our, um, our upper tent bars, and then plug it in. So as you can see, assembly is really simple and quick. Um, light is, as I said, perfect coverage for two foot by two foot or 60 centimeter by 60 centimeter grow area. Average power of 800 micromoles, which is up in the high end um, performance wise. The light is a full spectrum light, so totally suitable for full stages of growth from veg to flower. And of course you can use the dimmer to adjust down for the early stages for even more efficient operation for young seedlings and early veg and dim it up as required as you get through the early stages of growth. So yeah, real simple, very robust, high quality components, high performance, full spectrum, um, yeah, it's all there, I think. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as, as uh, quickly as I can. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.